How we doing? My name is Ryan B. Hebert, and welcome back to my channel. The Season 8 VGC rule set has finally been revealed, and so let's take a look, shall we? Allowing all of the VGC Pokemon that we've had so far, but one restricted box legendary Pokemon is going to be legal per team. This is very similar to previous, as, as many call it, GS Cup uh, formats have been, where the players are usually playing with two legendaries, but uh, they're changing it up so that there's only going to be one legendary per team. This is really, really cool. I imagine that the following format is probably going to have maybe two, but for right now, you can utilize legendary Pokemon once in your team. So let's take a quick look at some of these Pokemon real quick. We've got Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyrium, Xerneas, Eveltal, Zygarde, Cosmoc, Cosmo Lamb, Sogaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, and Kali Rex. Now, obviously, the mythical Pokemon listed here, going up and down. These are the mythical Pokemon, and they are usually and almost always banned. Here's the biggest thing. What Pokemon are trainers going to be using? Like, what are people going to be obsessing about? My big picks right now. Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. Top three at the moment in my mind. I think Groudon's... Groudon and Kyogre are obviously going to be the two that people go between, which means Weather Wars are back, baby. We've already seen so many different types of Weather Wars happening in Series 7. Imagine what it's going to now be like in Series 8. Now, there are a couple Pokemon I do want to mention that I think we'll probably also see play. The Calyrex uh, mixed forms with uh, both of the horses have some incredible attacks, so I'm curious if those are illegal, if they're going to be really good. Eternatus has a really unfortunate typing, similar to Draglage, the Poison Dragon type. It's It's good. But it's not that good. So, and it, it also cannot G Max into its like uh, special alternative form. So that's that's really a, a bummer. Zamazenta and Zacian. A lot of players are playing around with Zacian. So I think this could be one Pokemon you could see quite a bit from because like it's busted. Sogaleo is really solid. It's a better Metagross, and it basically has the same ability. So I wouldn't su be surprised to see Sogaleo. Lunala. Ghost types have a really cool advantage uh, in, in this game and in the sense that, like, they hit quite a bit. They do really well. But Galarian Moltres is really popular, and I don't expect it to go anywhere. Xerneas. Is Xerneas going to be as popular? Since you can only use one Legend per team, why wouldn't you possibly use Xerneas in a bunch of redirection to help set up your Xerneas, plus, like, Psych Up and that sort of thing? Eveltal is coming back in, as well, and with the amount of Ghost types and Psychic types that exist... Eveltal is going to be freaking dope, dude. And of course, uh, I think it, it doesn't go without saying that, like, Reshiram and Zekrom are cool. Reshiram is uh, really reliant upon having Groudon with it. And then um, Palkia, I think, does really well with Kyogre. Same with Dialga. So uh, th these Pokemon without another restricted, they kind of make it hard. Ho-Oh? Ho-Oh is seen to be really, really cool. However, like I said before, it does really well with a Weathermon like Groudon. And so I, I'm curious to see. I mean, people have made Ho-Oh Kyogre work, right? And so to run Ho-Oh without Kyogre, to have that like really offensive pressure, like that water spout, like Scarf Ogre water spout is no laughing matter. But also you have to keep in mind that there's so many Pokemon that are super fast this generation, uh, Reggie Lecky. And so you have to keep in mind that like there are different Pokemon at different speed tiers that are changing up the way that these legendary Pokemon work and how they're going to play. Overall, this is a fantastic announcement and a big shout out to Cerebi for getting out the news to everybody. Insane. What are your takes on Series 8? Are you excited to be using a Legendary on your team? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want to subscribe for more content, be sure to do so by pressing that red subscribe button right there on my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Ryan P.P. Hebert, signing out.